Hello everyone and welcome to our second episode of Ask EBJ. Uh, we did field some questions on Twitter. We actually haven't put up the first YouTube video yet, uh, but we are going to keep a look down in the comments of each of the Ask EBGA videos and try and field more questions mm -hmm. for future videos. Um, so we'll just jump right into it. Uh, the first question I'm going to ask you, Ray, and that is, uh, is it pronounced EBGA, EVGA, or EVEGA? Okay. Well, we've gotten this question before. Uh, I think we've heard this in all forms from customers over the years. Right. Um, and it's not that difficult of a question to answer. It is EVGA, uh, not EVEGA, uh, and not EVGA. Okay, so the next question, what does EVGA stand for? Okay, uh, EVGA is an abbreviation uh, that we use. Now, we don't have like an official, this is what it is. Uh, we have an older one, um, but what we usually say is that it's uh, excellence in video graphics adapters. That's typically what we'll say on that. Um, there's all sorts of great theories out there. Um, there's a lot of great forum posts where people come up with humorous yes. um, names for EVGA. Uh, but uh, excellence in graphics adapters is what you'll most likely to hear uh, yeah. when it comes to our products. Yeah, definitely check out the forums for some of the more interesting theories on that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, next question, this is from the newest outcast on Twitter. He asks, where can I get a free graphics card? Well, that is a great question and, um, you know, it might seem a little bit funny at first to even ask that question but actually we do give away free graphics cards at a lot of different um, out like venues and outlets uh, one place that you're more likely to get that is local events um, some of the gaming events we go to at the colleges here in Southern California um, those who might not be as uh, fortunate to be in those areas at those times for those different events or conventions um, we do some of the bigger conventions uh, on the East Coast like PAX uh, where we'll give away some graphics cards. And then we also have monthly events online. Mm -hmm. uh, since the graphics cards were kind of in short supply for a while, those you haven't really seen those on the right. events lately, but um, those might make their way back on there again too. And just uh, random social media giveaways and things like that. So there are places where you can get free EVGA yeah. graphics cards. Well, we sometimes will do them on the weeklies they'll give out. And yeah. uh, I believe we still have it going for uh, feedback. We'll do a monthly prize for uh, customers who leave feedback of their service with the EVGA, so we always appreciate getting feedback. Yeah, and uh, that is important to the, the EVGA weekly live stream with, mm -hmm. with Jacob. Make sure you watch that. They give away a ton of stuff on there. Yeah. So. All right, great. Okay, the next one. Uh, this is from at e Morales Ramos via Twitter. Uh, will the new Robo Clocker feature be available on the Z370 boards? Okay, so we thought a little bit about this one. Um, the Robo Clocker specifically was the system set up um, by Tin and, and by uh, Kingpin to allow for kind of a quote unquote closed loop of uh, liquid nitrogen while you kind of a longer term liquid nitrogen. I think it runs for like a week. Yeah, uh, based we, off of those, based off of those big tanks, that's uh, an awesome that was really cool. That's right. not something that'll be coming to 370 boards. It was kind of a one-off. But we think that you're asking was the Robo Tuner that we showed. That's the in-bios overclocking and testing uh, ability that future motherboards should have. Um, unfortunately, we just don't know yet. Um, if that'll make its way to 370 boards, the current ones, or if that'll have to wait for a future platform, we, we don't know yet. Uh, right. So stay tuned. Uh, it should be coming, and we're excited to see it, um, but we don't know just yet. Yeah, it's a quite exciting feature. Uh, next question on here from, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that, on Twitter. Uh, what do you do with all, those old, with all that old hardware uh, that you ask people to send in for competitions? Okay, uh, yeah, actually that is... Uh, some of our monthly events that we have, um, we tend to do a Rewind Rewards event where we have you send in some old hardware. We had the, oh, uh, Ray's going to grab it right now. This is not a Rewind Reward. This, this was not just, one of them. This is just an old card. So if you have an old card that's in a box like this, sometimes we have it. Actually... I do have something to show. As we, as we go off camera to nowhere. I do have something to show. Uh, one of the Rewind Rewards did involve the ACS coolers. Um, and these were actually a big innovation for EVGA. So th this was a cool little Rewind Reward. Uh, first blower style ever introduced to graphics card as a cooling element. 
And uh, we also came out with the first blower with heat pipes. Hmm. Um, so that was, you know, definitely a big thing for us. So yeah, we, we actually have people send in um, the old hardware as part of the, uh, what would you call it, the giveaway. Yep. Um, we actually don't keep those. We frame them uh, if it's something that can fit into a frame, like a graphics cards. We'll put those in a frame and uh, we'll send it back to the customer who sent it in uh, as a nice little display piece, actually. So. And not a lot of people know that, but we do give them back to the customer eventually. It's not like we have much use for them. <laughs> yeah. We we plan to make more of a set here, so eventually yeah. you'll see some changes. So you might see some of that retro hardware coming back into a set. Um, but for the time being, it's just us. Yeah, we definitely will introduce some retro stuff back there. All right. Next oh, one. yes. Uh, this one's for you. Coalition Gaming via Twitter. He actually sent in a few questions, so mm -hmm. thanks for that. Um, does user slash reviewer feedback help shape the direction of product uh, cycles? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, it actually affects a lot of current products. So even if we've already shipped something, it's already out into the market. If there's something that's found that's an issue or if there's a feature that people want, um, we in customer service are always looking through the forums where mm -hmm. we're closely connected to our customers. If there's something that's brought to our attention, that goes straight to our product team and they can make changes on the fly. With Usually it's software stuff, stuff that we can fix, you know, in a BIOS update or things like that. Yeah. Um, or if there's just things that people want to see in their products, absolutely. We're fully receptive to um, suggestions and each generation brings out a better generation of product yeah. and that's possible because customers give us that feedback. Yes. They tell us what they want. Um, so we bring some of our own stuff. Um, I don't know that people were necessarily asking for in BIOS overclocking. I'm sure somebody asked it, but that was sort of something that we brought in. Mm -hmm. um, but lots of times we'll, we'll get features that customers go, wouldn't this be great? And uh, we'd love to add that stuff. So absolutely. Um, become a forum member and um, yeah. you know, sound off on the forums. If you get enough people behind you, they'll definitely hear you. Yeah, we definitely do keep an eye out on the forums. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Next question, also from Coalition Gamer. Uh, any chance of sponsoring LAN events? Yes, yeah, so uh, we actually do sponsor a lot of LAN events. Uh, sometimes they're not necessarily in Southern California. And actually, uh, I did read the comment. It did refer to Southern California events. Um, if it is in Southern California, we do tend to actually go to the event, set up a booth if it's a big enough event. Um, and we give prizes for the winners of the LAN, you know, competitions or tournaments. Uh, and we also do send out hardware uh, around the country for different events and stuff too. So LAN events are a big thing for us. We've actually stuck with some of the little guys who are actually getting some pretty significant um, exposure now. Um, so yeah, definitely check out the different LAN events over here and um, come to the event. A lot of times for the prizes, we'll give away a couple extra if we have a booth there. And um, you have to be there to qualify. I'll usually put it on the EVGA Gaming Twitter. So, yeah. All right. Sounds good. Uh, and then the last question for today. Uh, is there a hot dog day at the office so Jacob can be happy as a clam? Happy as a clam. Okay, I'll have to preface that by saying I don't know what the happiness quotient of a clam or Jacob is. So to me, they both seem unhappy. But uh, I will say um, we do do uh, monthly meals with uh, with our full team. Uh, so maybe one of these days we'll do a hot dog one. That's yeah. that's an interesting idea. Yeah. Um, and we'll see if, if Jacob is in fact happy as a clam on that day. Yeah. But I haven't seen it yet. Or I haven't seen the hot dog day yet, I should say. Yeah, we'll have to do a barbecue. Yeah, good barbecue. Sounds good. Summer. Yeah. At any rate, uh, thank you guys for your questions on Twitter. Uh, again, since we don't have the first video up yet, we don't have any questions uh, from your YouTube comments on these yet. Uh, but we will be adding those. We will be adding our first pilot episode as well as this episode, obviously, for watching this. It's already been uploaded. And uh, sound off in the comments below. If we like that question or if it gets enough traction and we're allowed to answer it, yeah. uh, we will answer it. And that will be on a future Ask EVGA. So you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Yeah. Thanks very much, guys. Bye bye. You ready? Yep. All right. Okay, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and today. <laughs> and today. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. <laughs> it shouldn't Don't trust your. Hello, everyone. What up, G's? <laughs> After every video, I won't edit. <laughs> no, no. There's too many. Anything I'm involved in, yeah. there's too many bloopers. <laughs> it's dangerous. I'll edit anything with me in it. <clears throat> <clears throat>